You are eternally saved. The Holy Ghost spoke to me there. When you came to the airport, by your choice, you obtained your boarding pass. By your will, you walk through the terminal right to the boarding gate. By your will, you could have still gone out, but you didn't. You sat there. They locked the doors. By your will, you strap yourself. But from the moment they locked the doors and the pilot started taxiing, you cannot stand up and say, I don't want to go. No way. You must go with that plane, whether crying or laughing. But as far as that flight is concerned, it must go to destination. Ladies and gentlemen, the day you receive Christ, by your will you invited Christ. By your will you asked Jesus to come in. But the moment Jesus entered, it is too late for you to go out. Once you enter, you enter. So, so is human will not required to go out? No, the way it is designed. When human will finally agree, it is one way traffic. And the way he designed eternal salvation, he designed it in a way that once you enter, you can go out. That is the way it was designed. It's one way, one way traffic. There's no reverse. There is no gates at the back. Once you enter, that's why Jesus said, I am the door. Jesus said, I am the door. He says, by me, if any man enter, so you entered by Christ. To go out, you have to use Christ to go out. And Christ is not an exit door. Look, in the aircraft, even if you stand up and you say, I'm angry. My seat is 1A. Let me walk towards the back. Even if you walk to the back of the plane, you are still inside that plane. Going to the back of the plane does not stop the plane from joining. Anyhow you move within that plane, you are still inside that plane. If you like fall down in the plane, you are still in the plane. That's why even as a believer, even when you make mistakes, your salvation is intact. Our forever salvation is included in the intercessory ministry of Jesus. From the point you say yes to Jesus, he is responsible for you forever. From the point you hear the message and you say yes, Jesus, from that day, you're not in charge. He's in charge. He becomes responsible for you forever. It's one way traffic. Jesus said, all that the father has given me, he said, none is lost. I have commandment from my father to keep everything he gave me. You are part of what God gave him. He can't lose you. You are too small for him to lose you. What he has put inside you, eh? You can't remove it. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. I love that word, a new creature. In Christ Jesus, nothing avails. Your degrees don't avail. Your connections don't avail your strength don't avail your morality don't avail your immorality don't avail what avails in christ is a new creation we know no man after the flesh in christ the only thing that avails is a new creation your past don't avail your mistakes don't avail your perfections don't avail. The only thing that avails is a new creation. Circumcision, no uncircumcision. Avail it anything. Whether Jew or Gentile, doesn't make any difference. Nobody is superior. Nobody is inferior. The only thing that avails is a new creation. A new kind of humanity that never existed before. Can somebody shout hallelujah? So the new creation is God's best that is the way to look at how god views humanity he views humanity in christ and humanity in christ is a new creation give me verse 16 of that galatians chapter 6 verse 16 and as many as walk according to this rule peace be on them and mercy and upon the israel of god as many as walk according to this rule so the new creation is also a principle that should dawn on you i mean look at you Look at what God has done out of you. Some of us in Christ, we, 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 were, we were weed takers. We smoked weed until we were useless in the physical. 
Some of us were prostitutes. I mean, you see prostitutes coming to Christ who had lost total value for their lives. They were good for nothing. Just used like tools. Some were given to alcohol. They, dr they drank and got drunk until their bodies were riddled with all manner of diseases. Some of us were so useless that nothing good could come out of us in the physical. Yet the moment you come to Christ, you are a brand new man. That is the only thing that avails in Christ. Jew, Gentile, drunkard, non-drunkard, moralist, non-moralist, useless, not useless. The moment you meet Christ, a brand new life comes out. You are not an updated version. You are not an improvement. You are not a renovation. You are a brand new. That is, you are a humanity that never existed before. You don't have a past. You only have a future. And that future is glorious. For those he foreknew, he predestinated. Those he predestinated, he called. Those he called, he justified. Those he justified, he glorified. You only have a glorious future in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing avails, only the new creation. With all the way you were physically, all the way you were messed up, finished, useless by the enemy and useless by your own choices. The moment you come to Christ, he cleans you up and makes you his home. He says, this is my house. Uh, you call it useless? That's where I want to live. The most important person of the universe says, that is my accommodation. That is my residence. From now, that is my residential address. If you're looking for me, you'll find me in there. Oh my goodness. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. Only the new creation avails. No circumcision, no uncircumcision. Who cleaned the house? Christ Jesus. He cleaned us up. Washed us with his own blood. And made us his abode. That's why there is no change to be made in the new creation. You don't change him. There is no further change. At the point of salvation, all the change he needs moves on his inside. All the changes to his lifestyle are by Christ Jesus. There are no steps to changes. There are no rules. All the changes are in Christ Jesus. And they are by Christ Jesus. You just need to receive it. You just need to receive what Christ has done. Let it just dawn on you. I have eternal life. I have eternal life. I possess the life of God. So brother Paul says, As many as walk by this rule, by this principle, which rule that you are a new creature that's the principle you are a new creature let it dominate your thinking let it rule over your body it's a new paradigm in christ jesus i am a new creation you think about it you think about what he has made out of you you think about what he has done in you the change he has produced so like we said a man cannot live the christian life a man can only receive it by faith. You cannot live the Christian life. We don't live it. We receive it. Galatians 6.16 6, And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of God. Now every born again believer becomes the Israel of God. The new creation is the Israel, is the real Israel of God. 